Hey guys, so this video is going to be about how we finish the concrete for this large concrete patio. Now this is part two, part one, I'll have linked at the end of the video so you can see how we poured the concrete for this. But like most finishes we do, we always float out the concrete first and that's what Luke's doing right now with that funny float. Is He's floating out the bull float lines, bringing up some of the paste and getting this thing ready to finish. Hey, I just want to remind you guys to go down there and hit subscribe. I know a vast majority of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel yet. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to teach the next generation of concrete finishers. So I could, I could really use your help. Go down there and hit subscribe. Share these videos. Get them out there for everybody to see. And everybody that wants to learn how to do concrete like we do, um, you can help me out by just, just subscribing, sharing, and liking the videos. So what we're going to do for a finish on this is we're going to do a stamp concrete finish and it's going to be a stone texture finish. So we got large stone textured concrete stamps. What we're doing right now is we're just starting the process on this corner. This is where the sun hit first so this corner started to dry before everything else. So we put on some release powder after we floated it out. And then Eric went around with our textured roller and got the edges all textured real good for us. So just gets us a little bit ahead of the ball game as far as getting texture around the edges. And now we're laying the stone texture mats down. These are about four foot by four foot mats. And what's nice about these type of stamps is you can, you can lay them any way you want. You can turn them any direction. You can turn them diagonal. Doesn't really matter. You're just looking to get the texture from them onto the surface of the concrete. So we've got a bunch of different ones here. They're all basically the same texture, just some different sizes. Uh, the ones we like the most are from Marshalltown.com. Those those nice, really red ones right there. So that's that's just basically how we start. Now the rest of this, the way the sun came up on this when we poured was from behind those trees there in the background. So you can see there's a little bit of shade left by right up by the house and this thing was all in the shade when we started so it's kind of drying as the sun is coming up overhead and, and warming up the concrete so what I'm doing is I'm going out there and mag floating it as it's drying and as it's hard enough for me to get on to stay ahead of these guys so we can just keep moving on slowly with these uh, with these stamps. This was this was about a 1600 to 1800 square foot patio, if I remember right, and it's a pretty good size one. I mean, but we got four really experienced finishers here, so we've done a lot of stamping, and we had quite a few stamps. So we just figured, you know, we could keep up with this thing no matter how fast it dried. It was a pretty warm day out today, and we didn't really want to break the pour in two, so we just we just decided to do the whole thing and just work our way through it, and everything worked out fine. You can see over there by that truck there on the driveway, there's, there's a part of the patio that's in the sun over there for a while, and at some point here, you're gonna see where I had to move over there on that corner and start stamping that corner before these guys got there. That's just the beauty of using these stamps versus a different type of stamp like an Ashler Slate. That would have been difficult to do with that type of stamp because of how it locks together and how all the patterns meet up. You can see Darren, Luke, and Eric out here are just moving their way across the slab. Slowly, slowly but surely they're getting it you know from one end to the other and this is basically just how stamping goes I mean you do have to know the timing of the thing you do have to know some uh, some little tricks and tips about how to how to fix things how to touch things up as you go how to step on these mats uh, how to reposition them and all those things you can learn inside the concrete underground I actually even have a stamp concrete course down in the description of the video if you want to check that out if you want to learn how to stamp like we do and then I've got my training Academy the concrete underground down there in the description too where I teach you everything I know about concrete so you could check that out also so Luke's Luke's rolling that that curved edge there 
and then we're gonna we're gonna work our way down to the end of this thing as we as we work our way off the slab you can see we uh, take the stamps one at a time we work them off and then we bring them over to the wash area all right so we got this all washed and cleaned off yesterday today we're going to put the seal on it about a 2,000 square foot stamp patio no sealer yet so we're going to be putting the sealer on here in a minute I'll show you how we do that we got it all sawed you can see the saw joints right there another one over there we sawed it up really good to help control cracking today we'll get the sealer on it so we're using foundation armors AR 350 to seal this concrete this is a really good stamp concrete sealer it gives it a nice wet look it doesn't have a high high gloss to it it has has some sheen but it does give it a wet look when you're done. We put three coats on this thing and Darren's just doing the first one right now. So he'll go right back over this after it dries. He'll give it about 30 minutes or so in between coats. And after the third coat, it stays nice and dark like that, like you see when he first sprays this on. But the first coat soaks in here pretty good. It dries up pretty quick. And then the second coat stays kind of dark. And then the third coat really makes it, really makes it pop. But after you wash it and clean it, you know, you give it give it a day or two to dry out and then you can go right back on it here and seal it with this sealer. So this is how we finish this patio, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, go ahead, go ahead down there and hit subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. Hit the like button if you get some value out of this video and we'll see you on the next one.